Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. This is week 11 assignment of the course Introduction to Internet of Things. For the past 5 years, we have been providing solutions for various NPTEL courses, including IoT as well. So let's see the, let's see the solutions guys. So these are 100% our probable solutions. If there are any changes that come to our notice, we will update that in the comment section. You can also propose your own solutions in the comment section. So we will try to discuss on that. First question, which among the following is the most probable ap application scenario for a smart grid? For first question, option C, intelligent power plants is the probable solution guys. Moving on to the second one. Guys, if you are new to our channel, definitely subscribe our channel, definitely like the video. Then our video will reach more number of students. So definitely like the video and please subscribe our channel. And please share this video with your friends and classmates. And do let them know our, about our videos. Second question. With respect to a smart grid, which stakeholders are potentially benefited? So for second question. Third option. Option C. Both energy service providers and consumers. So mark option C as the probable solution for second question. Now let's move on to the third one. It is not possible to perform load forecasting using a smart grid. Is that statement true or false? So it is absolutely false guys. So mark false as the probable solution for third question. Now let's move on to the fourth one. With respect to the following smart grid architecture, which among the following is the most probable utility of the IP network? So for uh, fourth question, option B is the probable one guys. IP network is used to connect smart grid components globally for seamless data transfer. So mark option B. Next. Fifth question. Smart home. Is an isolated concept. And is not integrable with smart grid. It is also false. Option A false guys. False is the most probable solution. Before moving into the sixth question, I want to make a small announcement guys. So that is regarding exam preparation MCQs. For the course IOT, we have got exam preparation MCQs with 5 years of NPTEL experience. Here you are going to get a huge number of 300 MCQs. 300 MCQs in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. For one person it is 300. If you take it along with your friends or classmates, so for a group of 2 to 5 persons, combined price is 500 rupees. So each one in the group will get 300 MCQs and combinedly you can pay just 500 rupees only. So individually you can get for less amount. So one person from the group mail me to this email id bk179417 at the red gmail.com. So this is the email id case. You can mail me to this email id if you are confirmed to make the purchase. Already hundreds of students and professors as well taken our pack and got benefited and score nearly 75% 75% of marks as per the feedback of our students so take the mcqs case so these are the combination of past nptel mcqs as well as our own handmade solutions so huge number of 300 mcqs for one person it is 300 for two to five persons combined to find it so please share this news with your friends and classmates so discuss that and convince them to form a group of 2 to 5 persons so that you can get for less price. If you are 1 person only to worry you can get it for 300 rupees only. So this is the mail id bk179417 at the red gmail.com. Now let's get back to the solutions. Sixth one. Which of the following is a cloud application of smart grid? So option D all of these. Next. Seventh question. Which of the following is not a vulnerability of smart grid? For seventh question, none of this is the probable solution, probable option. Option D. Next, eighth question. 
iiot corresponds to which industrial revolution so for eighth question once again option d it is fourth industrial revolution fourth industrial revolution so mark fourth option next ninth one IIoT is inherently data intensive. It is option A, yes. So mark yes as the probable solution. Next, tenth one. Which among the following is one of the requirements and utility of IIoT? So for tenth question, option C should be the probable solution. Power, power plant decentralization. Next, 11th one. Smart grid follows which type of flow of energy? So, smart grid follows bidirectional, bidirectional flow of energy. So, mark option A as the probable solution for 11th question. Next, 12th one. What is the flow of data? So for 12th question, option C, generation, next it's acquisition, next storage and finally analysis. So this is the flow. This is the flow of data. Next 13th one, intelligent transport system, ITS, is least likely to render which of the following connectivity. So for 13th question, option D, vehicle to home connectivity is the probable option so mark option d guys once again i want to make you remember so you are getting a huge number of 300 mcqs for for one person it is just 300 rupees only and if you want for even less price you can form a group of two to five persons to get it for even just very very less amount as a group so combinedly 500 rupees for two to five persons so individually you can share you can get it for less amount only each one will get 300 mcqs but the combined price of the group is 500. So please share this news with your friends and classmates. Mail me to this email ID. pk1794178 gmail.com Already hundreds of students have taken our pack and got benefited. Even professors have also taken our pack guys. So already many students start taking our pack to take it now itself. So that you can get more time to prepare at the end. So such option is provided. The validity will be till the exam results day. Already hundreds of students have taken our pack already guys. And there is another pack that is YouTube membership of 100 plus MCQs only. For one person it is 89 rupees available in video format for one month validity. So if you want this sample YouTube membership pack directly go to our YouTube channel page. So S Kumar Edu is our YouTube channel page. So beside the subscribe button there is a join button right. So click on this join button. Then a small window will open like this. Select the second one, videos only for members pack. Second one guys, videos only for members pack, 89 per month pack. Click on this blue color join button and fill in the required details and make payment directly to YouTube, not to us. After making payment directly to YouTube, you'll become member of our channel. So you'll get access to the members only videos playlist. So here we have prepared many videos. You can see here, IOT 4.0, blockchain, pollution, IOT. So similarly, IOT part 1, part 2 and many other parts also available. So you can get all these videos, not only that one subject, you can get all these videos, nearly 50 videos I think. So all these videos you can get for same 89 rupees only. But my suggestion is if you want to prepare deep, if you want to cover more MCQs and more concepts, you can take this huge number of 300 MCQs pack. For one person it is 300. For 2 to 5 persons, combinedly 500. So bk1794178 at gmail.com. If you want to purchase the MCQ pack, you have to mail us. If you want YouTube membership, no need to mail. You can directly join our channel. Right? So take it now itself, guys. You can get more time to prepare. Now let's get back to the last solutions. So fourth, 14th question. Approximately what percent of total data available currently in the world is unstructured? It doesn't have any particular format or structure. So this it is option D 80%. Next 
Next, moving on to the final question of the assignment, that is 15th one. SQL manages which type of data? It is structured data. So, mark option C. So, friends, these are the most probable solutions for week 11 assignment of the course. I would hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, definitely subscribe our channel, like the video, and please share this with your friends and classmates. And don't forget to purchase this huge number of 300 MCQs Google Drive PDF restricted link pack. This is the mail ID guys. I will give the same email ID in the description box as well. So keep subscribing our channel forever and definitely like the video and please share this. So until the next video, goodbye. Thank you.